should never know what was left of a tropical storm was moving off the coast. These are beautiful pictures here. The sunshine left many residents breathing a sigh of relief, especially those still rebuilding after Hurricane Irene. Then on your side's Andy Fox caught up with some of them, and I'm looking at Andy's uh, scene behind him, not quite so sunny there now. Yeah, Tom, this is what Don was talking about. This is not Alberto related, but it is weather related. Look at this line coming across Rodanthe right here. We're at the uh, Rodanthe Pier. And, you know, it was almost a year ago that Irene blew through the Outer Banks. And one year later, they're still cleaning up. Last time we saw the North Carolina Baptist Men Disaster Recovery Team, it was September, after the country's sixth most costly hurricane, Irene, struck the Outer Banks. They were fixing up what Irene had damaged. Nine months later, 11 homes later, with nine still to go. Here they are fixing up Kathy Moret's home, recovery organizer Billy Layton. And that's why we go and we serve, because we feel like we're called to do that. And I, I know I was called here from the day one I stepped on the island, back after the storm. It was three days after the storm hit. I came here for the first day, and I knew it then. I told my wife that night, we'll be there next year. 18 inches of Irene came into Moret's garage. Water did not go in her home. Irene flooded all the insulation under the house that basically rotted her wood floors. The headline is, I am so excited that I am having my floor replaced today. Just trying to tear out the old floor where it buckled and tore up, messed up a little bit. Trying to clean it up some. Moret's a widow and was lost until she was found by the Baptist men. Not knowing what to do first. And, and what, what layer to do it in and how to deal with all the insurances. Volunteers followed the news media. Unfortunately, after the initial coverage of Irene ended, so did the flow of volunteers. If you want to know what the Baptist men mean to the people they help, well, just ask Kathy Moret. A lot of people would not be able to move forward at all without them. They have just been a blessing, a blessing, and a blessing. There's no other way to put it. All right, way to go, Baptist men. And once again, this is the line of clouds now moving over Rodanthe. And uh, in about five minutes, we're expecting to get some rain over here. But once again, if you would like to help the Baptist men, go onto our website at wavy.com, and we will give you the link so that you can help volunteer. A great organization making a difference right here on the Outer Banks. In Rodanthe, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.